Our next speaker is from Innovation Norway. Innovation Norway is the Norwegian government's most important instrument for innovation and development of Norwegian enterprises and industry. Among the different programs and services they have, Innovation Norway has two investment funds for Eastern Europe. So if anyone in the audience is planning on entering into the Ukrainian market, please pay attention to our next speaker, Johan, Johan Bjerkevold. Bjerke <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Johan Björkvold and I represent Innovation Norway. Um, as you many can see, we, uh, we are in desperate need of IT skills. Uh, we need even this clicker to be outsourced. And, uh, oh. Yes, um, Innovation Norway is the government's toolbox for innovation and development for Norwegian enterprises. And, and our investment funds are, are one of these many tools. I won't uh, take a reference of tools including hammers and sickles, that's been done earlier today, but um, our, our tool through a venture capital-like um, fund is more like a leg shin. In the game of football, you need a leg shin to, to allow you to play the game, but avoid getting hurt. So I think our experience, knowledge, and, uh, and capital helps Norwegian businesses into these markets. Technically, we have two investment funds, one uh, linked towards northwestern Russia and the other one for, for everything else. Um, I only have five minutes, and I have a whole bunch of slides behind here just to exemplify the, the things we've done. We've only had two, one direct investment in the Ukraine, uh, which is based on, on wheat and grain in the agricultural sector, and we also have an indirect investment through a subsidy in, from Latvia, which is pig farming. That's not really started up, but our... Uh, main selling point here today is that we are very much interested in, in uh, allocating some of our funds together with Norwegian companies into the Ukrainian market. Um, we're open for business. We, we've been influenced by, by other sanctions in other in, of our investments um, uh, and we've lost money because of the non-development of Stockman, we've lost money because of fish embargoes, and we've also lost money on Stockman not developing. But we've made money in electronics. Uh, we've um, gone bankrupt, as, uh, as you do. We take risk together with Norwegian businesses. We've made um, massive developments within um, making agricultural more environmentally friendly. Here, amongst others, uh, we've had help with our, our Finnish colleagues in NEFCO in developing a, a biogas plant together with a, a pig farm. This pig farm also has the subsidy, um, the daughter company in Ternopil in Ukraine. Um, this grain producer, uh, corn as in Norwegian corn, not American corn, um, wheat and grain and sunflower in Sumi, and we've um, some port in Poland, we've got a cogeneration plant in Latvia, and we put some money into a fund as well. So this is just an exemplifying of, of the things we've done, are doing, and, and sold out of. And we've earned some money. Um, amongst other things, we, we helped develop the, the biggest private business school in Lithuania, and Bay, the Norwegian School of Business, uh, I understand is active in Kiev as, as well. Um, but I'd like to make a point of that. We have made most of our money, our returns, from ICT investments, and we're very much uh, open, and uh, I'm ready with my business card to, to talk to not all of you, but one after another uh, in the breaks and lunch, and um, 
that's it. Maybe I took uh, shorter time, but uh, that's quicker to lunch. Thank you. Thank you.